Today, California said that more than 828,000 people have signed up for health insurance on the state exchange, which was established under Obamacare. But we noticed that few Latinos are signing up, and we asked Ben Tracy to find out why. For the past 17 months, Angelica Marquez has been trying to get uninsured Latinos in California to sign up for health care coverage. You are uninsured at the moment? Yes. She's doing outreach for Covered California, the state's health care exchange. Her job has not been easy. I have to explain what a premium is, what a deductible is, what out-of-pocket maximum is, like detail by detail because it's completely new to them. Half the uninsured in California are Latino. Yet they account for just 21 percent of people who have signed up for new insurance plans. Health experts blame the language barrier, fears about immigration status, and access to a computer. They're much more apt to want to sign up in person, sitting across the table from someone. Peter Today, Lee is the executive director of Covered California. He admits that when enrollment began in October, they did not have enough Spanish-speaking counselors, and the Spanish translation on the website was incorrect. You've been planning this for years. How hard is it to translate into Spanish this website? You need to get technical issues done right, et cetera. Isn't that simple? But we've really been ramping up the last year to make sure by doing focus groups, review of our material, having Spanish speakers at the table. And we've been doing it and we'll keep on doing that. I'm ready to make the payment. It should be like $233 a month. Nora Castellano tried to enroll online for months. Errors in the system would not give her credit for the federal subsidy. I've been ready to make the payment since over a week ago. Castellano got help enrolling at this clinic in Pasadena. Assistance efforts like this helped Covered California sign up 45,000 Latinos in January. Their goal is to enroll another 145,000 by March 31st. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.